Welcome back. We are here with 1424. And in the last one, we had another baby get on the Zest family tree. We had our first baby, Genevieve, enter our family. And we are currently pregnant with another baby. Also, Serena got married to Zuan II in a tragic turn of events. Where is she? She's over here somewhere. And she is currently pregnant. And then uh, Emmeline died of old age. She, she had a great life. I loved her. Um, but also one more thing happened in the middle of the night. Uh, Uta had her second child who was also a boy. So two boys, but she did die in childbirth. So I think the Gilberts are just really unlucky. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We definitely have a lot of rich ladies that do not have husbands waiting for them. So, uh, we are going to probably remarry him even though he's already got two sons but the Armstrong line is doing pretty well and oh one more thing also uh the baby oops I didn't even update this but uh the baby has been born uh to Salvia and it is a vampire he's a little vampire so uh that is good there so that's where we're at and in this year we have things happening also, we have the horse competition, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so we'll do the horse competition the very first day. Uh, also, we're going to have to do like two marriages per year now because there's so many people getting married that I don't want them to like wait 10 years to get married. <laughs> They'll probably die. So we're going to try to do two marriages per year. So Galileo Bennett is going to marry Zelda um, what is Zelda's last name? Dutton, probably. It's always uh, one of those. No, Axtell. Okay. And then we'll have Pascal Devereaux marry Honora Armstrong. Um, unfortunately, Pascal will not be having any children, so there's that. So the last baby that has been born here is Cherubert Armstrong. He can't get an 18 or a 20. Will he survive? No. Okay. Well... Both baby and mother died. Uh, so Gilbert III, this is his other child. Will both of his children survive? Also, Wybert III, Drustin, and then our Genevieve. So our baby. No 4, 8, or 12 on those four children. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, okay. All of these toddlers just survived. Uh, then we have Euphemia Landgrab, who can't get a 9 or a 19. There are now no Landgrab boys, so we're going to have to figure something out there. We have two teenagers, Frost the Second and Anora Axtell. They can't get a 7. No 7 for you. No 7 for you. And then will you get married? Yes, and have eight children. Yes, but not have any children. Honora Axel won't have any children. So, uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Pain, the pain family. We got two options. I think let's do Frost, Pain, who can have eight children, and who's he related to? Where is he? Frost, who's your mother? Oh, a Devereaux. Okay. So we can't choose the Devereaux family. You know what? That's okay because, honestly, Zetian is like the most beautiful sim in the world. I love her. So uh, let's marry him to her. And then who was the second person? Honora Axtell. There is no poor people for you to marry, Honora. So we'll just go like that for now. If we find someone, we will marry you. Or we'll do a remarriage. So that's fine. Let me get rid of this. And one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have, actually, Satyan is here. So Frost will marry a little early. That's fine. And then we'll put Anora here. 
because we don't know yet. He'll get married at 16. You know what? Even in the case of history, like the rich people got married younger than the poor people just because they had money, they had connections, they didn't have to like support themselves or a family or any of that stuff. So there's that. Um, next year there's war. <laughs> anyway, Thomas and Serena. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thomas and Serena. I need you both to survive. I really need you both to survive because I have plans for your lives and you can't just, just, <laughs> you can't get a 2, 6, 11, 13, or 14. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Thomas was the patriarch for one year. Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> So that makes Genevieve, our current matriarch, Genevieve, who was born in the last part, and currently we are pregnant. Okay, if we can have the baby real quick. We got pr I don't know what trimester we're in, but if we could have the baby and then try to get her pregnant really quick before we kill him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Okay, okay, okay. We're just going to, we're going to take a breath. And we're going to roll for Pascal and Galileo, who are supposed to be getting married this year. So, I mean, you know, F me if you don't survive. So there's that. Okay, they both survive. You know, it's just Thomas. It's just Thomas. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Our heir just died. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We really need to win the horse competition. Oh, my gosh. We have to. We have to win the horse competition. Because we can only do it once a week. I'm scared. Um, it's fine. Okay. Uh, she can't get. She has to get higher than a nine. Oriana does. And she didn't. She did not do that. Oh my gosh. Wait. Who is Oriana? Is she married right now? Is she married to Gilbert? Hold on. Let's see. Oriana. She's already dead. <laughs> she must have died in childbirth. Okay, Giles Dutton, you need higher than a 10. And then six more years after that. Uh, somebody write down the number six. I can't believe this is happening to me. Okay, well, we have two potential heirs if they could survive all their roles. Um, and then I... Oh, the, the vampire roles. We still have to do those. Um, okay, we have two vampires now. We have Salvia and we have her baby, both of whom are fine. We have her husband and Rose. Okay, everyone's fine. I don't know why I got rid of that. Um, and then I just wanted to show you the house. So uh, you saw last time that I did a little makeover to the kitchen and the dining area. And so uh, this time I just added like a little... I don't know if it's like a banquet room, but like I didn't have any room in the dining room for a bar. So I put a bar and a like fe feast. What is it called? A, one of those tables that makes food <laughs> out here. So that's fine. Um, probably there'll be like a living area. And then I was thinking about putting the office over here with a bathroom. And then upstairs, I moved the infant stuff into one of these rooms. Of course, this room is not decorated nicely or even correctly but here is our uh main couple's bed i don't know why you have not assigned part of the bed to yourself and then here is where uh rose is sleeping and then here is um the baby in the infant's room right now but yeah she's pregnant uh okay she's in her she's still in her first trimester i don't think I don't know if we're going to have the baby in time to get pregnant again. Oh, well. So anyway, there are going to be like bedrooms up here. Maybe I'll put something like another like seating something area or, or crafts or I don't know what we're going to fill up this space with yet. But um, and then also I just at changed this over here. I put made one of the stables a little like workshop with the flower arranging and the, the woodworking. So. That is what's going on. I can't believe that Thomas is dying and my life is like this. So, you know, everything's fine. 
<laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> you know, I feel like, isn't this what, doesn't this happen to us too often? Watch, Adelaide's going to die in childbirth now. Um, anyway, I everything's fine. So let's hop into the game. All right, so here we are, and I am just going to have Thomas make the most of his time that he has left. He's supposed to die on Monday, so we are going to have him splint spend plenty of time with his daughter and his wife and just oh, oh my gosh <laughs> uh rose is helping us with thunder and getting thunder up to snuff here on uh, the horse riding stuff and i think that now that thomas is dying i really think that we are going to kind of put the horse training on the back burner that was kind of his thing and i think we'll have adelaide's thing be nectar making and um so after we do the competition which i'm hoping goes really well because this is our only chance uh, after that we are going to um probably after thomas dies we'll sell sugarbush and i think i was thinking about keeping her on as his horse forever uh, because they have such a connection but since he is dying and since adelaide only has five thousand simoleons in the bank and has no way yet to make money um i think selling the horse would be a way to tide us over until her nectar making skills kind of get enough that we can be making a profit off of that so yes sugarbush did just get a gold in the competition we've gotten gold in every single horse competition so that is great and i'm really excited about everything that Thomas has done. I am really just happy that he was able to fulfill his aspiration and he was a great horse rider. He won all sorts of awards. He did breed a horse, one horse, <laughs> but um, yes, so I think we're just going to need the money from Sugarbush in order to get Adelaide's nectar making uh, business up and running because I looked it up and you can you know, get the nectar to the age it needs to be in two, uh, what would be two years in this. So it's eight sim days. So that is why we need that money over the next two years in order to be able to survive until she can start really selling her nectar. Our bills are all only getting higher because we keep renovating the house. So, um, you know, as much as I love sugar, I don't think that there's really a place for her here without Thomas. <laughs> which is horrible, but it's true. Um, so I'm just going to put a couple of these here and then we will have her start learning how to do this. And we will now also um, change up our garden so that it's a garden for ingredients to make nectar. So that is what we're going to do here. We're going to get rid of all this other stuff and then we're going to uh, plant strawberries and potatoes and grapes and apples and lemons there are other things that we might need we have to kind of decide whether or not we're going to try to make everything that there is to make in the nectar stuff like because you can do like trash nectar you can do um, the vitality nectar which needs a death fruit so it just kind of depends on where we go from here but for right now we're just going to make nectar of the average varieties we might try and make some nectar with the other stuff shortly but um you know for right now we won't so that is where we're at and we are going to now plant all of this stuff so that we can make sure that she is successful again it's going to take two years for us to really get the nectar aged and everything so that is what we're going to do i'm going to try and fill up at least one nectar rack per year we'll kind of see how that goes i think i only got through like 11 bottles but this was just our first year so i don't know yet so we're going to do our best uh, for that we have to make 50 bottles of excellent nectar we have to get to level five of the nectar making skill and we need to make i think it's a hundred thousand simoleons off of nectar and only uh, now that i realize that i never put adelaide uh, and Zuan 2's birthdays into the young adult section. So I'm doing that right now. I'm trying to figure out when their birthdays are, but they aren't for, I think, two more years. So I am a little nervous that Adelaide still has her young adult role coming up. But um, I think I calculated when the baby is supposed to be born. The baby is also supposed to be born on Monday, and that is the day that Thomas is supposed to be dying. So my plan is to have the baby and then immediately get pregnant and uh, be able to, you know, do that in order to... Um, make sure that we have three options <laughs> from Thomas's uh, bloodline here. I do not plan on having Adelaide remarry. Um, it's unnecessary for her to remarry because this is our main household. Um, if Adelaide had died, I would have considered, considered it, but uh, not, 
not that Thomas has died. Anyway, um, unfortunately, Serena did just have her baby, her one baby with Zuan, and it did not survive. So she does not have any kids for us to take care of while well, she's off at war next year. So there's that. We'll have to revisit her and the child situation when she gets back from war. Zuan is also going to war because he's also a knight. So it's probably, you know, it's okay. Um, but yes, I think that and they'll be away for war for like five years. So, well, I guess we don't even have any men in our main household now to send to war. So there's that. Uh, but, you know, in however many years, any sons that we have will, although <laughs> watch us have three daughters again. Oh my gosh. But anyway, so we have now made our first bottle of nectar. It's apple nectar and uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's a normal quality. So I'm just going to uh, do my best here to be working on this stuff, putting them in there. Actually, I don't know if um, putting them in the basement and in the, um, the thing makes it age faster than the, the two years. Let me see. To see how long your nectar is aged. How to make nectar. Yeah, it doesn't really... Oh, left on the rack for about eight in-game days. But is that in a basement? I wonder. I don't know. But we'll have to just check it next year, I guess. That's fine. Um, so, yes, we are just continuing to make nectar and uh, having her practice that. She's very angry because she's illegitimate still. I, I think that we'll just pretend that that's not happening and we will oh my gosh but are their kids going to be illegitimate <laughs> because Thomas is dead oh my gosh um I don't know how to get rid of that trait I'm gonna have to figure that out because it's really actually annoying <laughs> um especially when we are in the case of um marrying them as teens when they start to marry as young adults it's not going to marry m marry it's not going to matter because we're going to be able to actually marry them but since they're teenagers they can't get married anyway it's just i don't know why my game is like this okay so if it's poor quality i'm selling it but if it's normal or higher i am putting it in the rack so that is the current plan i would have gotten all 13 bottles if we didn't sell the poor ones but i what are we going to do with poor quality nectar right so we are just going to sell it if it's poor quality and move on from there. Thomas is spending time with his daughter again. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just my heart. Um, so there's that. And then we are going to, again, keep making nectar with her. She is pregnant. Uh, she has about 24 sim hours before she is meant to have the baby. So there's that. We will find out if it's a boy or a girl, if Genevieve remains being our heir, or if she is usurped by uh, a little boy. So we'll see that. And she is leveled up to level two of the nectar making skill. So that is good too. We have Rose, uh, for some reason, talking to Giles out here. Hey, hey dude, uh, thanks for stopping by. I think it seems like they know each other. I'm not really sure how now. Oh, family dynamic. Are you related? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, cause she was a Leifson. I have no idea. Anyway, so uh, also uh, Adelaide has a fear of failure. So we're having her show off her nectar to uh, Thomas and kind of getting that fear taken care of because, of course, he's going to be supportive of his wife and all of that stuff. They are in good shape and they are very happy. So, again, just putting stuff down here. I mean, eventually we're going to have, um, you know, maybe more racks down there. I don't know exactly what the plan is for the basement, but for right now, uh, we're just doing a one rack per year. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens and we'll move on from there. So anyway, we are going to cook something to eat because everyone is hungry and she is dirty because she keeps falling into the nectar. Uh, so there's that. And then we are going to check here. Okay. Rose is going to take care of the baby because her needs are not really any problems so there's that and um, we are going to change Genevieve's diaper <laughs> so uh, we're doing pretty good I am having Thomas do competitions as well continuing to do competitions because he um, why not right 
So uh, we can make a few more simoleons, but you can see that like our simoleons are kind of low. That's why we have to sell sugar because sugar is going to make us like 40,000 simoleons. So uh, that is something that we're, we're worrying about. And also, you know what, it might be nice if one of Thomas's kids takes up the horse stuff. So that would be really good. Honestly, it's something that I kind of have been thinking about is I really want to give each sim their own uh, thing, you know, their own thing that they're interested in. But at the same time, when I think about that, I'm like, okay, but say I, you know, say we have a boy and I have Genevieve go off and do something. And then it's like, okay, well then if the boy dies, then I need Genevieve back and she's not in a position to do whatever I was planning on doing with the boy. And I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so we now have another baby. Cecilia has had her last child with, uh, Johnny. So Philomena is now their last child and so they are all done having children. They've had like five, I think. So they're in good shape. Um, and I am starting to have Adelaide make excellent quality nectar, which is really good. She needs to make 50 bottles of it. So I think we're, we're in okay shape here. So that is their last child. And uh, we are going to give birth very soon. No, in one more sim day. Wow, time really did not go by very quickly. But anyway, I wanted to have these two spend some time together, be flirty flirt flirt with each other and, you know, just be together and spend some time together because of uh, what is coming. I am <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> I know you guys have to tell me your reactions to Thomas dying because this is so unexpected. I mean, I know that it's a big possibility because those are a lot of numbers, 2, 6, 11, 13, 4, that's that's a quarter, 25% chance, which is pretty high. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that happened to us. I mean, when was the last time that, okay, well, it happened to us right off the bat with Alice, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, we are just so unlucky sometimes. I mean, I know Emmeline was super lucky. All of her kids made it to teenagers, but like, it feels like every other generation we like cannot have our air survive. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so there is that. And now I'm just trying to get some of their needs taken care of and um, get Adelaide to bed. Yeah, we're just we're just doing our best. And today's Valentine. It's Valentine's Day. It's the day his child is going to be born. I mean, and he is going to die today. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. So anyway, so we are going to do our morning chores, checking on the bees, checking on the plants. I got rid of the chickens. I feel like we don't really need them. It's not like we use the eggs anyway. And now we're going to do the Valentine's Day stuff with um, Adelaide and with Thomas. So they are just going to flirt with each other. You know, he's going to profess his undying love to her. And it's, <laughs> this is very sad. I'm very sad. So um, that is what is going on. We are dealing with it. She's also not feeling great because she is going to have her baby today, but then she'll feel better. Um, so she and both of them are now all done with their Valentine's Day stuff. And so we're going to go back to uh, making the nectar. So she's just going to clean that out. And then we're going to craft some nectar. And we are going to take a one last relaxed ride with Sugarbush and do one last competition with Sugarbush. So that is what Thomas is doing. And again, we're just filling up this rack down here. And I decided to name it after the year so that we know how long it's been down there. And then we'll do again, we'll rename it when we have to do another year separately. So he got a gold on his last competition ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, and the baby will be born, I think, around like 9 p.m. So we still have some time. But um, we are going to just come over here and be working on this still. Oh, none of these kids are going to remember their dad. It's kind of really upsetting. Uh, so there's that. But hopefully we can be making, you know, supposedly nectar making makes you a good amount of money. So hopefully we can get to the point where we can, you know, rise up in class in our like social class a bit. So um, I know that we sort of we went from like lower class to kind of sort of a little nobility, but not really. Um, and then we are doing pretty good here in this beautiful house. So I think I would say that, you know, we're at least middle class now so I think that that is a pretty good situation for now but we'll see anyway let's have the baby be born and it is being born right now and it's a boy so it is our new heir and he survived so he is Thomas the third Larkin and he just survived 
oh my gosh, he just survived. And on the same day that the heir is born, the current patriarch is passing away. Very sad. <laughs> so here he is. And then I am going to have Thomas come and meet him and like cuddle him a little bit. We'll take some pictures and then we'll say goodbye to Thomas. So here they are. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, a little smoochy. Oh, <laughs> Uh, so we are going to put these last couple of things out and then uh, we are going to say goodbye to Thomas. Unfortunately, I'm stupid. So um, because I'm stupid, I was like, okay, goodbye, Thomas. Like I, you know, set it up where he said goodbye to his son and whatever. And then I was like, wait, I was supposed to get Adelaide pregnant one more time before I killed him. Ugh, I couldn't believe that I forgot to do that. So I kind of low key bring him back to life briefly <laughs> just to be like one last woohoo. <laughs> um, so they are going to... Um, yeah, I was trying to decide whether or not I was really going to do that or if I was going to find a way to somehow make it so that she got pregnant, but you can really can't do anything with a ghost. So, um, we are going to, I mean, you can do stuff with a ghost. You can't get pregnant with a ghost anyway. So, um, we are going to say that Thomas died in a horse, uh, riding accident, like in a competition accident. So let's say that that competition that morning, he had fallen off his horse and he had like hit his head and he didn't know that he was like really bleeding internally or so all day or something. So then he ended up passing. So, um, unfortunately I had to bring him back to life though, because I, I'm just going to give myself the try for baby. I feel too nervous with only two children. <laughs> so we are going to, um, have, them just try for a baby really quick and then I'm going to kill him again and we're going to pretend that didn't happen so she is now pregnant for the third time uh, and we are going to at least have a little bit better odds in order to because we're not going to have any more kids after this so I just wanted to squeeze one more in there so goodbye Thomas for the second time sorry that was awkward I, you, I know you thought for a second that I didn't kill you but I did so here he is saying goodbye to our current patriarch. He was excellent. He lived such a full life, even though he's dying so young. Like he's only 20, but uh, he, you know, is a horse riding champion. He lived with his mom and his dad for a while. And then he lived with Cecilia and Serena for a while. Like we spent a lot of really good time with him because usually, you know, I don't really focus too much on the children, but I think that we really were able to focus like on him as a child and then also the whole teenage years I think was really eventful and I think that I don't really feel like he missed out on anything just because he died in this role I do feel sad that he was not able to um you know, raise his children and all of that stuff. But I think that we have a pretty good plan going forward with Adelaide trying to build up some kind of family wine business. And um, I think that that will be good. So I think we're going to wrap up there. I was just trying to age up the baby and it just wasn't working. So I'm going to have to do it in Create a Sim because no one wants to bake me a cake for some reason. And so I'm going to do that in Create a Sim. And then also we're going to do the two weddings, Pascal and Honora, who, if you remember, Pascal is Charles's illegitimate child that nobody knows that it's Charles's child. And then also Honora is the child of Gilbert and um, Eleanor Vitor. So that whole story uh, culminated in that child. So um, that is one of the marriages and then Galileo, who is Millicent's son and, um, Zelda. So there are those weddings and I am really sad about Thomas, but I think that we are going to, you know, still have a good time. We're still going to continue forward, obviously, but like, um, I don't know how to say that I'm like feeling good, but also feeling kind of sad. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're in a good spot. I feel confident that the next generation is going to be okay, and I am really excited about uh, what's to come. So next year, war. There is going to be a war next year, so it is going to be very exciting and a little scary, but we don't have any men in our main household that are going, but of course Serena is going to be going to war because she's a knight, so just all of that stuff is going on, and we're going to head to the church to put down Thomas's grave. But that is where we're going to wrap up here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I know it was a lot of emotions, but um, I think that our family is going to be okay. And I'm excited for the future. And I am excited for what's going on with Serena and her life. And I know she's going to be leaving for war next year. So there is just a lot going on. And 
uh, we will continue on with it. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next one.